Greater Victoria is filled with volunteers of all ages who give back to their community and that includes the community at CFB Esquimalt with many members lending a hand at the base museum. Veronica Cooper has more. This is the last Canadian warship we lost in World War II, HMCS Esquimalt. This intricate model is one of the many exhibits at the CFB Esquimalt Naval and Military Museum. The artifacts are from the museum collection. And the ideas are really centered around important events or dates within the history of the Canadian forces or individuals we would like to focus on and bring more attention to their careers. So how did this museum get started? It started with a historical committee in the, in the dockyard. There was seven people uh, that started collecting artifacts for, for a potential museum in the future. Including a young Cecil Baker. But I got posted out uh, very early, about a year after I was on that committee, and I uh, went to another job. So is it difficult to create these exhibits? The, the big process to think what you want to do, and then to really bring it to fruition, we're probably looking at a couple of years anyway. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, you know, and a lot of work. Aside from a core staff of three plus contractors, this military museum is entirely volunteer. We have an amazing range of people volunteering with us. We have individuals who have a great deal of background in the history of the Canadian Forces or have served in the Forces themselves. But we also have people volunteering who have no connection to the military. This is the space we envisioned for the, uh, for the simulator exhibit. This guy here, this is an old uh, uh, helm station off, of, off a genuine ship. Captain Mark McFadden not only volunteers as a tour guide, but is also building an exhibit. As a volunteer, I've been pretty much uh, working on this uh, simulator project as an interactive exhibit for visitors to come through and uh, get an idea as, as to uh, how the training goes for the Navy with regards to the operation of ships. We uh, encourage people to come and see what we're doing here. We believe it's an excellent museum. And what does it cost? There is a suggested donation, but of course, if people can't donate, we're still happy to have them here. We're getting uh, people as far away as Switzerland, uh, New Zealand, Australia, uh, Japan, China. So the, the word is out there. I would invite anybody from Victoria, because we don't get a lot of Victoria people here. Just present valid photo ID at the CFB gates on Admirals Road, and you can proceed to the museum. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.